okay welcome to my youtube channel uh, in this video we are going to learn how to link static files in Django so our tutorial will cover the following parts number one meaning of static files number two editing setting.py number three creation in the meaning of static and the templates folder number four creating a views number five linking urls in urls.py which are the views we created in views.py uh, and the last one is <coughs> linking static files in index.html so here we go we start with the meaning of a static files so <coughs> at the name suggest yourself that these are the static files so they don't change they remain the same in the project they remain the same in the web page example of a static files in Django are images CS files and the JavaScript. The combination of all of these static files help to make a decoration of your web page. So <coughs> that's the first part uh, in your tutorial we have learned about it, the meaning of a static file. So <coughs> the second thing we are going to do is to edit setting.py so that we can specify a template folder which will contain uh, index.html file and other html file so before we edit setting.py let's go in project folder and create templates files and static files templates <coughs> So that's it. Let's create a static file, static folder. As I have said, that a static folder will include all static files, which are the images, JavaScript files, and the CSS. While template folder will include or will contain all files with extension of .html. So after knowing the meaning of a static and a template folder uh, is time to we, we have already known the meaning of a static and a template folder and we have created them so the next thing is to edit setting.py so that we can include the template folder in our setting file by default setting file folder is included in setting.py so this is my project folder called youtube i will created it in my previous tutorial where we learned the urls and the views so if you missed you missed this tutorial you can see it in my youtube channel so click on setting.py find a, a code of line named the templates so here in the templates you should write os dot path dot join yes dot join base here then templates so that is how to include your template folder we created uh, in a project folder so the next thing is to include static files so scroll down static url is already included so here we are going to include some few things in setting which will help us uh, in storing 
static files so here let's write media underscore url something like that media that's way after that uh, we are going to light static static file static stat, static files underscore dls something like that square bracket os dot path dot join base comma single quote static underscore in m so we still proceed with defining I mean folders which will store our static files so here light is in underscore path something like that way os dot path dot director name base yes uh, the next thing is to include static root static underscore root os dot path dot join base directory is a static root static underscore root yes media root is equal to os dot path dot join dot join something like that uh, path media media root media underscore root so here we are done uh, with defining folders which will store our static files so <coughs> after dealing with setting dot py uh, <coughs> we are going to copy our index dot html in templates so <coughs> to remind you that we have covered the following parts we have covered the meaning of static files uh, we have learned on how to edit setting.py which is the setting file in Django uh, we have learned how to create and uh, the meaning of static and uh, templates folders <coughs> so the next thing is to copy these files so something you should notice that uh, our project at the end should look like this our page should look like this with CSS and these images this page uh, it is present in a local host in a folder called du so this is learning in ZAMP server so what we are doing now is to link 
our static files in Django. So the page which will will run in Django should look like this way. So let's carry on. Uh, in localhost, let's copy this index file. I just copy it and paste in a template folder. Then after, I'm going to copy this static file folder. I just copy and I'm going to paste them in a static folder. Yes, now we are done. So <coughs> the next thing is to create these two folder. There is a folder called static underscore in environment. So let's create this folder. Give it a name. Yes. <coughs> then after Let's create a static load folder. Static load folder. <coughs> okay. Now we are done. So let's copy this content uh, in static in environment. Yeah, so that's it. Uh, the next thing is to create a view, then link or write the pass of view in your IL file. So in project folder, let's create views.py views. So we have created a view. So from Django dot shortcuts import a render. Then let's create a function def index request something like that. Then return return render request the index index.html that way then put this bracket so far so nice we have successful created the python function which is the view called the index which will return page called index.html so let's go in url to include a path of a, a view we have created so path something like that index index but here we need to import our views from our project so from dot views import index we need to import, I mean, a view we created in views.py before we use it or we create its path in URLs file. So that's it. So far, so nice. Uh, we have created a view and we have included a path in URLs.py. So the last step in our tutorial is to edit index.html file so <coughs> this index.html file is present in a template so let's open it using sublime so <coughs> here on top like this bracket then the percentage sign load static load static 
yes <coughs> after that it's time to to link our CS file so put something like this then it's static single quote so let's copy this let's copy this yes then we will include the yes something like that uh, this is another custom CSS put something like that this bracket paste yes <coughs> another CSS I think we are done with let me find if there is any image oh so far so nice we are done with linking those static files so here at the bottom of our file we need to link these javascript files so put something like that put something like this yes now we are done let's find if there is an image which we needed to rank it yes this is the image paste this then single quote percentage sign then you put a bracket okay now we are done with the linking a single image let's find another image i hope there is only one image so now we are done uh, about all uh, our content I introduced it before. So let's change our directory into our project folder and learn our project to see what's happening. Python manage.py run server run server let's see how it looks like so let me click this oh very very beautiful now you can see our page is successful linked with static files which are the images css file and the javascript now you can see this page is looking awesome very fantastic and it is looking similar with this page i'm running through php server or i'm running through zamp so <coughs> that is how to link static files in django uh, our session covered the following we learned the meaning of static files we learned on how to edit setting dot py so as to include template folder in setting dot py also we learned on how to include a uh, static files in setting dot py also we learned the meaning of a static and the template folder and how to create them then after we learned how to create a view and how to include the path of view in URLs files. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, do not forget to like, put comment and subscribe for next video updates. See you in next tutorials. Goodbye.